KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Okay, everybody, we are talking about swimming today on the show, and we bring into the Zoom room a veteran that is in the pool and spent many, many years there, uh, now gr doing great things and taking his game from Guam to Japan in a swim meet, Ken Barcinas, originally from uh, Marizzo. And uh, hey, that's a great that's a great village if you want to learn how to swim, Ken. <laughs> of course, of course. They throw you in the Marizzo Pier when you're young. That's how you learn. <laughs> <laughs> well, so certainly. Well, certainly. Yeah, if, if you can if you can fight those currents and everything like that, then uh, you know, fighting in an eight lane pool and everything like that, and that's that's no yep. worries. Yeah. Definitely. So of course you're representing uh Team Tsunami and everything like that, a fantastic swim program. And you guys are actually um gonna compete for Guam uh in a Japan swimmy. So tell me all about that. Oh uh, we won't we will of course we'll always represent the island all the time. But yes, we'll be uh leaving off island next week, next Thursday, and then um the swim meet is gonna be on the on the Sunday. It's like they're big I think it's their first time hosting a a competition for the last 34 months or so too since the COVID mm -hmm. restriction. Mm -hmm. And you guys got a pretty big uh, team considering, right? There's several several dozen uh, youngsters. And what what are the uh, what are the age ranges of all the swimmers that you guys uh, mentor? Well, we teach everything from five all the way up to 18 right now. Hopefully, mm -hmm. in the future, we could build like a master's program too. We're still working on that. Okay. You know, I've always wondered because, you know, they say that, um, that gymnastics is a sport where, you know, like sometimes youth are actually better, uh, you know, than, than kids when they hit maturity and everything like that. Do you find swimming to be, you know, um, uh, physiologically, you know, better for, for younger people? I think it's best for any age, actually. It's almost like jiu -jitsu. you could join in any age you want, any, at any level, and then you could progress from there. I've, I've seen a lot of, uh, masters or even just, postgraduate, you know, athletes join swimming after they hit their peak. And it's a good way to just stay in shape without, you know, damaging their hardware. Right on. Okay. So, um, you know, we Islanders and everything, and like you said, you know, the, the village that you're from and everything like that, we take to the water, you know, we have such a respect and a, and a connection with the ocean. Um, but is there a is there a particular um, swimming event? You know, do we, do we do better at like relays or, you know, our individual uh, sprints more tune? And, you know, what do you find that like Guamanian athletes tend to uh, tend to do better in and tend to enjoy more? I'm pretty sure we definitely enjoy the sprints. We're just built for that. But anything, anything in the water, we have a total advantage. I think it's just biologically too. Like us tomorrow's, we're just built to be watermans mm -hmm. and we, we sh I think when we go off I Island and we show our our future athletes there, we, we kind of show we kind of show like the the big countries that we have potential. Mm -hmm. So I think it's usually usually the sprints, but we're also you know in swimming terms, sprinting is a very it's actually a lot of technique too. You can't make any mistake because you only have a very short amount of time to to swim it. But if it's like a longer distance, like a two hundred above, I think that's where Guamanians or even swimmers from Guam could really shine. That's like, I think that will be the future events that uh, Guam swimmers will be able to uh, um, show their skills. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, I yes. mean, you know, um, so, so once we actually, you guys get to Japan for Team Tsunami and everything, you know, execution is, you know, um, is the order of the day. But to get there, you know, there was a lot of preparation. So, uh, yes. talk to me about, talk to me about like, uh, about your training and how long did you guys put into this? And, you know, what was the, uh, what was the program you put these athletes through? Well, since, you know, Guam is having trouble with getting their public pool open, I think Dedido still hasn't been open yet. Ganya has been shut down. So we've been um, using the um, St. John pool. Thanks to them, we've been able to keep our athletes healthy and uh, just active during during the pandemic and afterwards too. Now that um, Guam's restriction has been getting looser, we've been doing a lot of aerobic we they swim about about two thousand to three thousand high intensity, a lot of aerobic base, and um, they practice Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Saturdays. Um, I like to do a lot of race scenarios. That way, when they get up on the block, they already know what their their body is already know, already comfortable of the race plan. Mm -hmm. They're like, they don't need a, they don't need a second thought. Oh, what should I do on the second lap? What should I do on this first half lap? They're, they're, I've been already implementing them 
That's really, really yeah. interesting because, you know, I was I was talking with a, with a colleague of yours, you know, like another another swim coach, uh, two time Olympian, Chris Duenas. And he was telling me yes. like that, that the way he trains his athletes in his swim club is, is he goes, you know, um, typically we train at match speeds. So, you know, like th there is there is no difference between, you know, when you're when you're practicing and once you actually hit the pool in competition, you know, you're you know, it's all muscle memory and it's all focus. Yes. 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 It's, it's just much easier that way. It's easier for the kids, especially those who uh because swimming is a lot like 90 percent is mental game too it's, it's, it's just like any other sport i just want them to be able to be able to get up on the block comfortable confident in themselves that they all they all put in the work and it's just easier you know the muscle memory is already there mm. okay now how about going like a little bit and this is a weird this is a weird like swimming pun but how about going like a little bit overboard as a coach how do you how do you actually control, you know, the, the natural effects of like adrenaline? And, you know, you've got, you've got kids, they might be swimming in a different pool uh, and your kids are going to be swimming in Japan. It's a different environment and everything. How do you get them focused to stay like locked in and make sure that they just, they run their meat to the best of their ability? We do scenarios. Uh, we we kind of have kids who, who's experienced that already. Uh, some of our senior, senior kids is graduating this year. They've been to um, the same competition or similar level competitions in Japan or Australia or, you know, around even Saipan to other, other places. So we kind of have them kind of talk to the, like the younger kids to uh, like a little pep talk to, Hey, this is what you're going to see. This is what you're going to um, experience. I felt the same thing too. Um, I did this. It worked. This did better for me. Like I have the whole group involved. That way they, they could not just um help the little ones not get too nervous, but it also helps with the, um, grow some team bonding but mm. a lot of a lot of mental stuff there but then physically as from my side is just um doing some um games i would, I, would, I don't want to say games but some fun stuff at the end that way they mm -hmm. don't really think that they're working they're they're um they're working hard or they're, they're being forced to do a workout but they are actually doing very similar uh, actions in the water, it's like how Steph Curry dribbles with two it. with two balls at the same time. You would never actually you would never do that in a game situation, but he's actually conditioning his mind to you know to have a to have coordination and to have reflexes and and, and yes, to maintain exactly. focus. Okay, yeah, yes, very, yes, very cool. a lot of that, a lot of that. So when they when they're up on the block, when they're at, when they're in Japan, even though the language there may be a language barrier, everything's gonna be the same, same mm -hmm. routine, just in a different place. Probably some kids do better when it's in a different environment too. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so final, final question, question is, and it's a two-parter, right? What do you use with your, you know, better than two decades of swim experience? What le What is the one core lesson or theme that you pass down uh, to, like, younger swimmers that are just picking up the sport? Um, and then what do you also tell them about what it means to represent your island and, you know, the history and the lineage that we all have as, as island athletes? But, you know, you're out there representing, you know, a community who's got your back 100%, so you need to, you need to be able to give it your all. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you do those two things? Man, the first one is I've always believed in the work hard and play harder. And it also it just also answers both your questions. Um, I think it shows when you represent Guam, you're not just out there representing your team, yourself, your family, but you know, it actually go back. It you are representing your family, you're representing everyone who has put in the time and effort for you to, you know, get to practice, feed you, support you, all that. And to make sure you um, do your role, I think in in practice or in life, you gotta when it's time to work, you gotta put in the work, be disciplined, be on time, do yes, what sir. your 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 teachers do, your parents, what your coaches are expected to do, and then while you are disciplined, there will be time for reward. There is time for break. There is time to play. And I believe that is the same for swimming. Like when you're at the pool, that's when you put in the work. That way, when you're at, at the race, all you guys do is do what you, what you love to do, which is race. You swim fast. You don't need to worry about anything else. And that's what I try to pass on to the, to the next generation. You know, work, work hard, play harder, but don't forget. Don't, don't take it too seriously either. There's, there's, there's time to work. There's time to work. And there's time to not swim. Don't think about swimming. Just enjoy your life. Well, sports, is, sports is supposed to be fun. I and, mean, you know, as, as, exactly. a coach, yes. yeah, as, a, as a coach, it's good to see you always want to keep it that way. All right. So, yes, exactly. so uh, 
So Ken Barcenas, uh, like a master in the pool, passing down knowledge and wisdom to a new generation of swimmers. And uh, Ken, I know you're taking about you're taking a bunch of kids about a three and a half hour trip up to Japan, but certainly the life lessons that you're teaching them in the uh, athletic discipline um, is going to last uh, like far, far longer than after the uh, heat's over and anything. So uh, thanks a lot for what you do for the sports community. No, of course. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope, hopefully, hopefully if one, if uh, there's always a, there's a, quote that my quote my former mentor told me if 10 percent of the kids were even ever listening to uh, what i was trying to teach them you, you had a great day so hopefully oh, there you go out of you know at least if it if it reached one one kid one person one family um it was a good it was a good it'll be a good trip there you go all right team team tsunami representing well in the uh, japan swim meet so man good best of luck to you coach and and bring back the hardware man yes thank you we'll do our best thanks so much for the support all right KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together.